This one actually does have a title. It's called Slit Wrists, and this one has a bit more of like a trigger warning. So this one I wrote uh, about two weeks ago. I was really heavily inspired by just by how open you can be with somebody and just kind of like letting it all out. So this one shares the same kind of symbolism behind it, but it is a bit different. So slit wrists. I slit my wrists and what bleeds forward is pain, anguish, sadness and torment. I followed the dotted line on my wrists that said cut here, but I was never very accurate at cutting a straight line, so my lines are jagged. Just like my life, a roller coaster ride filled with ups and downs, and so I ask you, the man or woman watching this performance, you the person with the scars that have been littered across your body, Bearing a sign of a time past, the only way that you knew how to deal with the pain was by dragging that razor blade across your skin, as if you were a farmer planting seeds to grow. But those seeds were seeds of doubt, setting you up for failure. With every drag, a new scar, and with every new scar, a new story. With every new story, a new way of saying, I made it out alive. I'm sure that the pain you felt then was nothing in comparison to the emotion. I felt it too. The heartache, the dry reaching of something that wants to come out but never does. It's like a bad taste in your mouth that never goes away, and I know. I know because I've lived it before. I remember once I was so heartbroken by losing a best friend because of my own stupidity, I fasted for five days. All I ever ate during those five days was a tiny one inch by one inch cucumber. My body cried out to me in pain for days, and I would feel nauseous at the thought of even having to eat food. I remember that pain, but I also remember the pain that I had caused. You are not alone. You do not sit atop a throne built out of loneliness. I'm here for you. We are here for you. Do not think for one moment, one second, one minute, that you are alone. You cannot force happiness and you cannot expect it to come to you in a day. But I promise you with every fiber of my being, but there will come a day when you say, I'm sure I'm glad I stuck through the fight. And when your dreams have been achieved, you look down at those scars and wear them like a badge of honor. You wear short sleeve tops, you wear crop tops. You'll even turn those scars into some sweet tattoo. Because you are a soldier, you're a veteran, you're a legend, but you're a human. Thank you.